How'd you do it? Do what? Look so dashing. <laughs> no. How do you always make light of everything? It just feels like... I don't know. Nothing ever gets to you. Ha! Huh. Let me tell you a story, General. Once upon a time, there was a dark elven boy. Like every dark elf from Calabrook, he one day found himself on a bunk bed in a dank room cut into a cave reeking of mold, sweat and boiled cabbage. His memories were gone after drinking the brown liquid, and everything about his new surroundings terrified him. So that's also how he behaved. Eyes downcast, voice low and whispery. Like the hyenas children are, the other boys quickly caught scent of his weakness. And so only one week after his admission into the communes, the boy found himself surrounded by three other boys, demanding his breakfast ration, mushrooms and a crust of bread. What did he do? He handed both over, and he did the same thing the next day, the day after, and the weeks that followed. But the boys decided that merely depriving him of his food wasn't enough, and spiced up their morning visits with clouts, punches and kicks to the gut. It went on for months, until one night, the boy found himself awake in bed, so deeply terrified of the following morning that he considered giving up altogether. He knew where the overseers kept the brown liquid, and he also knew that one of his brothers had ended it in a similar fashion the year before, by drinking two bottles of it straight. But the boy didn't kill himself. No, because when he snuck inside the laboratories where the overseers kept the liquid, he realized something. Most of his dread was fear. The boy was afraid of the grim days that lay ahead of him. The boy didn't fight back because he was afraid of the pain they would inflict on him if he did. In short, the boy was afraid of a future that hadn't even happened. And then? Then he realized that even if the future and the world were as grim and dark as he thought they were, he sure as fuck wouldn't give it the satisfaction of being afraid of them. He could spend his whole life in fear. It wouldn't change a damn thing. All that mattered was action. And on that night, he had two choices. Ending it under the assumption that it wouldn't get any better, or wiping away those fucking tears and actually doing something for a change. The next day, when the boys came for his bread, he broke their leader's nose. They broke his hand in return, but they left. When they came back the morning after, the boy awaited them with a bottle of poison, which he threw right into their faces. They didn't come back after that. And a year later, they were eating out of his hand. What I'm getting at, fears and doubts are useless. You'll never change anything by worrying about it. Just do all you can, and once you have, fucking stop worrying. So, do I want to see Jack who stopped? Yes. Do I spend endless nights brooding over all the things that could go wrong? No. Even if my fight against cerebral God will be my last one, I'll make sure I go out with a grin on my face. Interesting. Thanks for sharing that with me. Glad to be of service. <laughs>